okay uh, today I wanted to talk about um, uh, our experience uh, with uh, having caregivers and versus uh, nurses at home uh, uh, the we are in the state of Virginia and we have Medicaid and um, the state of Virginia provides that they have different type of programs so you can apply um, at first after we were discharged from the hospital uh, back last year um, we decided to go with this waiver what, what is it called ED, EDC <laughs> EDCS the waiver I don't know it's a weird <laughs> All these letters um, but I, I had requested only caregivers because I was really paranoid about having nurses uh, touching her central line and I really wanted to um, do everything myself but just I just wanted an extra pair of hands to help me out with taking care of my daughter um, so I, I was okay um, having just you know caregivers instead of nurses so they, they did not have a title or anything they were just kind of like a babysitter so they uh, I found this company this great company uh, they is uh, Christian Christian based um, I looked I mean <laughs> Medicaid gave me this whole packet of different nursing agencies and things like that and at first it was very overwhelming to go through all of them and I'm like who is good who's not and but uh, I went online, check a few of those, check their reviews, I checked their websites, their Facebook page, also in Facebook, whenever they have a Facebook page, sometimes people can review uh, the company. So I did my a little bit of research on that, uh, but I ended up choosing this company that wasn't very, um, uh, it was a a Korean company uh, and I always had a, a good um, impression of uh, the Korean community here in the area uh, they're always very Koreans are very responsible very um, hardworking and so uh, that caught my attention I'm like oh they're Korean and they also speak English and let me try them out so I give them a call and they were like I said they were also Christian based uh, company um, so after talking to the uh, coordinator uh, you know I sat down and I told her I really didn't need nurses I just needed an extra pair of hands so she did, she recommended me to uh, just get caregivers and I was like okay that's fine you know uh, so uh, I got two caregivers, one that will come in the morning and the other one will come in the afternoon. So but because of this, uh, because because they are not nurses and they're just caregivers, uh, the amount of hours were limited. Uh, I started with eight hours a day um, and then they also provided me with respite hours. Uh, I think they provided me with uh, 400 hours of respite hours for two years or something like that I could use so it wasn't that bad um, yeah, so they I started working with them um, and they were great I mean they they were very nice ladies um, you know they're, they're ladies that their kids are already you know old uh, out in college so they're basically at home they don't they don't have any responsibilities really you know their husbands work all day and they just stay at home alone and they don't do much and so they were very happy to come and and and, and be able to help you know and uh, and they got so attached to my daughter um at that time my daughter was what uh let's say seven months old six seven months old um and uh, like i said their kids are grown up you know they're just at home alone and you know 
a little bit older and not too old but you know and uh, yeah they were very sweet very nice loving uh, very uh, compassionate uh, they you know they they learned as much as they could about Camila's condition and uh, and they just follow everything I I um, I would tell them to do um, and they were very responsible again because I believe it's their culture they're very uh, they were always on time never had a problem being on the phone or sleeping or no I mean this is late you know older ladies that were very responsible and very caring they were they were doing it because they really wanted to make a difference in somebody else's life uh, they were very religious um, so I like that uh, so we you know my daughter just grabbed a bond uh, made a bond with them very quickly early on and they became like family uh, almost uh, you know um, so I was very happy with them um, you know hardly had any issues I know they were very great but um, uh, recently uh, my daughter went through the step procedure and uh, there were a few changes uh, that happened uh, in her routine that require a little bit more of care during the nighttime because uh, at first um, you know she was not eating she was in PO so you know uh, but after the surgery that you know we had to give her more medications um, dealing with the feeding pump at night time uh, and because she was eating more she was pooping more so there, there were a, a lot of uh, more things to do during the night and also during the day so um and also some changes in our families in our family was happening uh, so uh when we were last admitted in the hospital in the, when she had the surgery talking to the case manager she had suggested me that uh, that my daughter qualify for up to 16 hours of uh nursing care and so she was you know telling me about it and you know when I heard that I was like wow I didn't know that I qualified for that much um, I only had only eight hours but again I was also using respite hours so at the end of the day I was using almost up to 12 hours a day uh, every, uh, Monday through Friday uh, but again it, it was limited you know it, whenever the hours ran out I, I was out um, so um, so since I knew com my, my daughter was, you know, I don't know how long she's going to need all this care. I mean, the, according to the doctor, it's going to be years. Um, so I was like, well, maybe I should look into getting a little bit more help. Mm -hmm. So, and to do that, I had to make a change in the waiver. Uh, and mm -hmm. that required, excuse me. That required um, by changing the way the the waiver um, the the people that were taking care of my daughter they needed to be RNs or LPNs uh, nurses basically and which these two ladies were not uh, but they were able to give me up to sixteen hours if I made that change so. Um, I decided that uh, uh, maybe it was the best thing. I was a little bit hesitant because I was like, I'm so I'm very happy with my uh, the two caregivers, but I also do need more help at night, especially at night because I wasn't even sleeping that well because I was waking up in the middle of the night, changing her diaper, changing her milk, you know, and then she was also vomiting and you know changing her sheets, changing her clothes and. I mean, it was just a lot going on at night and also I needed to function during the day for I also have a seven-year-old son and you know so it was just it was a little too much for me and so I you know we made the decision to go ahead and 
um, you know, request more hours. And by requesting more hours, we needed to change the ladies um, taking care of Camila. They needed to be RNs or LPNs. So we did that. And it's been a week since we made that change. And so far, gosh, uh, it's been very different. <laughs> I wish I knew um, how different it was going to be. Um, first of all, nurses, um, I mean, they're, they're very good too. I'm not saying they're not uh, good. They are also Korean. They're very responsible. Um, they are, you know, religious and things like that. But because they are nurses, they are more, they, they are required to, to document everything uh, that they do during the day um, you know what time they give the medication and what time they change the diaper and you know and they need to see doctor's orders for everything um, and if they don't see doctor's orders oh my gosh it's the end of the world you know I, and they you know they're like oh I, I need to see that or oh, you, you just increase this medication and we're uh, the doctor says that we have doesn't say that and you know so uh, I felt <laughs> more stress added on to me because I was like oh my gosh I, okay I need to call the doctor and get this doctor's order so they can see that I'm not making it up that they actually happen and you know or and of course I had to always sign everything that they did that they do throughout the day and everything is documents documents and so it's you know and also another thing because they're nurses they have to you know check my daughter's temperature you know many times during the day and uh, you know check her heart rate and check this check that which is good but at the same time it's like gosh it's too annoying like I, I almost feel like I'm in a hospital within my home and I don't want to feel like I'm in a hospital in my home I want to feel more relaxed more you know like I'm at home um, normal <laughs> um, and of course it's not like I'm not gonna check her temperature I, I, I tell them you know you use common sense I mean you just go every time you change a diaper just touch her forehead touch her face see you know how she's she feels hot then you get out the thermometer and double check but if she doesn't then you don't have to you know check her temperature because it annoys the heck out of her too um, you know um, so little things like that that I was just like and also of course they're nurses and you know they, they want to change uh, their way to their way right I already had everything uh, my, my own routines but they would they were like oh let me suggest this to you and let me you should do this way and you know da -da 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 -da. and I'm like look things have been working just fine the way that I've been doing and I don't want to keep you know I don't want to change all the sudden just because you say it and because you have a degree in nurse and whatever it was it, I felt more stress I mean these people were just coming and and because there are different shifts before i used to have only two de uh, two ladies to deal with now uh, i have almost four ladies um because these nurses they only work three days or four days a week uh and so you know one nurse during the the first three days during the daytime another nurse another three days at night time and another nurse for the rest of the week, daytime, and another nurse the rest of the week for nighttime. So at the end of the day, it's like four nurses. And each one has their own personalities, their own way of doing things. And But all of them are documenting like crazy and asking for doctor's orders and double checking you know, which is good I understand it's you know but it's just a lot of stress and they, they always come up with to me like oh where is this paper and where's that and where's this medication where does it say for instance uh, my daughter can't can't eat by mouth nothing by mouth uh, and the doctor just prescribed um, this medication that prevents it 
and <laughs> uh, you know she can't have anything in my mouth and you know it, it needs to go through her G tube but somehow the pharmacy I don't know uh, it showed in the label of the medication it showed um, uh, give, you know give three mls uh, by mouth and so this nurse because she's a nurse and follows every little uh, you know uh, word of the doctor's order uh, she was coming to my daughter to give it to her by mouth and I'm like what are you doing didn't I just tell you that she <laughs> she's nothing by mouth uh, all her medications either go through her G-tube or through her IV, but, you know, most of them uh, G-tube. And she's like, oh, but here in the medication it says by mouth. I'm like, well, that's a mistake. That's wrong. Uh, oh, well, then we need to call the doctor and, you know, have them change that. And, then, you know, and I'm like, really, you're adding another stress to me. I'm already stressed with everything else going on with my daughter and you know and you're adding this new thing to do now I have to call the dog you know so they can fix it and they you know just so you have that peace of mind that you're following the, the instructions you know word by word and but I'm like just use common sense I just told you she won't be able to eat in my mouth just put in the jitu why do you have to make such a big deal out of it but Things like that, you know, it's um, pretty annoying. Um, and uh, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> uh, and again, everybody, uh, each one has a different personality. They, I don't see that they bond too much with my daughter because they are so into writing everything down, making sure, you know, this and that. Uh, uh, so they really don't spend much that much time to bond with my daughter and to win her trust and to, you know, and and she feels it too. She's like, oh, for these people, you know, they're just nurses. They just come, do their job, and buy, you know. So it, it it's been a change, a drastic change, because she was so used to having these other two ladies come with all their love all their hearts uh, just and spend time with my daughter without worrying about documentations without worrying about or questioning me how I did things or you know uh, just being very free about everything you know just following my instructions and that's it but with these nurses oh my gosh it's just I feel like I'm in a hospital within my home and I, you know, and I feel like I have to show them proof for everything I do. And, you know, it's just very annoying and it's, I have felt a lot of stress. And like I said, everybody has their own way of doing things. And they all want to impose that on me and I have to, you know, fight them and be like, no, you just do what I say, and, you know. But it, it takes, it takes energy from me. It takes, you know, and I, I don't want to keep... Uh, doing this um, on a daily basis <laughs> I mean I already uh, you know fight for my daughter every day with her condition and, and uh, with her doctors you know and, and things like that and, and to just having this added stress is just uh, unfortunate and disappointing I didn't know that it was going to be this uh, this different um and uh, anyway, but other than that, they are good nurses. I know they mean well. Um, they are very responsible. Uh, you know, they're just trying to do their job. I understand that, but at the same time, it's causing, it's clashing with me <laughs> and with my daughter too, because uh, you know she doesn't like to be, um, uh, you know poke on or, or you know mess with uh, a thermometer every other hour or you know with a, or a stethoscope or things like that um, so I noticed that they're very robotic 
more than humans they're very robotic and they have to fill this out and they have to do this this way and follow word by word because if not oh my god she can lose their license and is the end of the world you know uh so i i, I understand their point of view but at the same time it's just adding so much stress <laughs> um but other than that i know they mean well they are very good um they're responsible uh, you know no problems with with sleeping or being on the phone or not being on time no they're other than that that's great but it's just those little details that are just like uh stop it <laughs> um so i do miss my caregivers yes they do provide more hour uh of care but like i said i feel more stress <laughs> because of that because they need to know everything and they question me everything um and but of course i don't still i don't let them touch her central line i that was my you know i put my foot down like you do not touch that central line you only do medications you know change diapers empty the ostomy bag and that's it I don't want you to be messing with the central line, her TPN, nothing. I know it's more work for me, but hey, I'd rather do that. It's, it gives me more peace of mind. Um, you know, the more hands that touches that, the more um, it increases the risks, I believe, of uh, infection and things like that. But, um, I, you know, that's how I see it some you know you might not think the same way but um but anyway i just wanted to share my experience between caregivers and nurses uh i do miss my caregivers a lot um and i wish i knew how different it was going to be with nurses um so anyway unfortunately we you know we are already Working with them will try to make the best out of it. Um, I, I'm not even sure if I can switch back. I don't think so. Um, and if I do, I don't even know if those two ladies are going to still be available. Um, but anyway, um, just uh, if you are thinking about it, um, you know, just know the pros and cons. <laughs> Uh, of of the two before making a decision and you know it's up to you what your needs are um, so uh, that's it I just wanted to share and I wish somebody would have told me the difference better um, and anyway uh, hopefully things will <laughs> I'll adjust and my daughter will adjust too um, but uh, that's it if you have any advice or anything let me know uh, you know I'm still pretty new my daughter is only what 17 months old I'm still pretty new to the shortcut world I'm learning so many things um, uh, so I know there is a lot of you that have been on this journey for a longer time than I have um, but anyway I'm not trying to complain I, I'm very happy I have some kind of help I know other people that don't have the help and that's very unfortunate that, that's that's hard you definitely we mothers of Churga kids we do need help uh, even if it's by caregivers or nurses I mean you do need extra pair of hands you cannot do this by yourself um, alone uh, so uh, if you are thinking about uh, getting help uh, definitely take it if, if you qualify and the state provides take it take it don't just don't take it <laughs> take it um, but I, if I could do it again I would kept my caregivers and just stay with them and just use uh, respite hours if I needed extra hours but but yeah dealing with nurses is a whole different ball game <laughs> uh, like I said they, they mean well and everything but it's just too much paperwork and documentations and I'm just dealing with different personalities and it's just too much 
anyway it is what it is um i do have the help so i, I can't complain that much so anyway hopefully this helps somebody else out there that um you know is trying to look for help get the help definitely get the help okay uh, so that's all i just wanted to share uh, our experience with uh, caregivers and nurses at home okay take care bye bye